welcome dear student on my channel today we'll see about the uh, ecornia plant that is also called as a water hyacinth so which grow in the pond so free floating plant is there so here the flowers are there it shows the inflorescence group of the flowers together so this is what i have removed from the pond and brought it at home so that you can get the clear idea about the plant so here this what is the free floating plant is there which grows in the fresh water mostly on the in the pond as well as in the lake sometimes in the river we can observe number of the leaves here clusters of the leaves are there which arise at the nodal region number of the leaves we shows a waxy coating so this about the petiole swollen petiole we can watch here waxy coating of each leaf to avoid rotting as well as wetting so this together which float on the water sometimes it is also called as a weed so it cover the whole area of the pond now we can see the clearly how the petiole is there which is a swollen here is the inflorescence now this i have removed here you can watch here how the growth is taking place vegetative reproduction the offsets are there so this is a new offset which is arising and that later will grow and it will form the new growth so continuously it grows and cover the whole area surface area of the that particular pond or the lake so this is a stem we can say the spongy stem is there which shows the presence of the erenchyma now here we'll see about the roots how is the structure of the roots are there so this roots are there which are the fibrous root system it shows we can watch the root pockets so this is speciality about the this plant at the root end root hair end we can watch the root pockets so here i'm separating this now you can watch the at the end of the each root hair some spock pocket like structures are there so which are the root pockets are there so here we observe that the adventitious roots are there which are produced in the clusters at the nodal region here again you can check the root pockets clearly this roots arise in the cluster which act as a balancer this about the petiole you can watch it clearly at the nodal region here number of the leaves first the petiole and at the top the leaf is there each leaf shows a waxy coating this is why i said this about the petiole swollen part is there in that petiole also we observe here the offset which is used a vegetative reproduction vegetative growth for the new plant so this one again you can check the root pockets number of the root pockets are there at the its apical region of the root hair which gives a protection to that new growth of the root what are the merismic tissue now here about the petiole this petiole i will take the longitudinal section of which and inside that we can check the how the erin comma is present here now we can observe easily the air space is there so this is a parenchyma where it shows the presence of air that's why called as a erin comma so this is in one direction transverse section is taken sorry longitudinal section is taken ls you can watch clearly how inside the arrangement is there about this all erin comma now in the another direction it is same leaf what are the in the another direction is taken this is also a longitudinal section here you can get again the clear idea about how the air space is there which help this plant body to float on the water it reduces the weight of the leaf so that plant can easily float on the water and can grow easily
now this is a transfer section is taken we can watch this how the arrangement is there about the enchyma in the transfer section of that petiole here also you can watch about the petiole again so this way this plant body float on the water with the help of the clusters of the root adventitious roots now here the inflorescence is there which will open on the next day you can find the number of the flowers on that so this inflorescence which colorful which attract the insects for the pollination again we can watch purple color attractive flowers attracts for the pollination here the offset or the new growth for the vegetative reproduction slowly it covers the whole area of the pond here the flower which i showed in the previous inflorescence which is open now all flowers are open very bright color attractive flowers which increase the beauty of that particular pond so here if you like my channel subscribe and share with your friends so that everyone can watch this video about the cornea thank you